retail got three weeks, two, two, three weeks ago, got absolutely crushed. We also have a very long holiday season, right? So even with big Black Friday numbers and big Cyber Monday numbers, there's still a long time to go. And, the, you know, the consumer is employed. I love the U.S. consumer. They, you can always count on them. Gas prices are low. The weather's cold. I mean, a lot is going right. So I like the space. I probably would sell going into Christmas. Mm -hmm. They seem to have, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news kind of thing. And, but they're off to a good start. I would hang on to them here. Nordstrom's, for example, a name we power pitched in the spring into the summer. We said in the earnings, it looks great. Stock went from basically 50 to $63. A couple weeks ago, we cautioned you folks, these stocks we have gotten ahead of themselves. Done. Get out. And here we are right back to 52. So I will tell you that in terms of valuation for Nordstrom's, which is reasonable, the quarter wasn't a complete disaster. I think the risk reward in JWN here at 52 is interesting. And I'll say this, mm -hmm. I bet you over the next couple of weeks, you see some analyst upgrades in the name. I think the most important thing is the expectation going into this, this holiday it was very muted. Uh, it was terrible last year, so you had a big run. Karen brings up a good point. She's actually talking trader here. She's saying I'd kind of fade into Christmas, which is interesting because that was not the trade to make last year. In fact, it was just when retail went on this kind of re-rating, hey, cyclically and secularly, they're not out of business. Um, I love Best Buy here. And again, that's the place where you get worried about their margins, but they're the last man standing. And despite the fact guys going to sit around that leather chair at Best Buy all Sunday afternoon and not anything I think actually these guys are improving their margins it was torch going into these numbers and I think it's actually going to be a record quarter for Best Buy